If I were an economics student today looking for a promising career, the first place I would be looking is in tech. In this video, I want to talk about why the sector is exciting, why I think universities might not be doing a great job at preparing students for tech, and what new opportunity is available for you if you're interested in a career in tech economics. Tech is becoming one of the closest things to a real economics job. A 2018 article about Uber said, economists love Uber because it's the closest thing you can get to taking the pure economic theory of textbooks and summoning it to life. So much of what you learn in a textbook comes from a couple of people looking at a few market transactions and thinking, this is what all markets look like. But with digital platforms, you're able to observe thousands to millions of transactions. That gives you a much better opportunity to learn about markets and economics. Now, the economists they're talking about in these types of articles usually have a PhD in economics. But that doesn't mean you can't get a tech job in economics if you only have an undergraduate degree. I'm going to talk about those in a minute. Let me first talk about the PhD opportunities. I'm going to be honest, these jobs look so fun. Economists at tech companies are able to adjust rules incentives and nudges to try and make markets function better. Instead of hoping you can find an exogenous shock to the market, you can actually create them. In fact, when I thought I didn't have a career in academia, the first place I looked were tech companies. If you want to read more about opportunities for PhD economists at tech companies, there's a great article from the Journal of Economic Perspectives. I'll put a link to it in the description below. But let's say you don't have a PhD or you don't want to go get a PhD. Are there opportunities for economics majors in tech? Last year, I posted a video on market power interviewing Josh. He majored in economics and now he's a product manager at a tech company. Product is this really unique job where you're, what you have to do is you have to understand the business needs, you have to understand the user's needs, you have to understand the market and where the market's going to go. You have to take all these inputs and you have to build a prioritization model. There's a ton of demand at tech companies for economics training at any level. And tech is a growing sector. It's where we're seeing the most exciting developments in the economy. It's where we're seeing the most progress on remote work, which means it's, it's opening up opportunities around the world. It's also where we're going to see the biggest regulatory battles with the government. If you are preparing for a career in tech, you're going to create a lot of opportunities. But universities aren't prepared for training tech economists. One reason for this is that the field is advancing so quickly. Back in 2010, I took a class where we spent one day discussing whether Facebook would still exist in 10 years. Instead of that discussion, I wish those classes had recognized that Facebook was part of a new wave of career opportunities. Today, we're discussing whether crypto will still be around in 10 years, but in 2031, it could be as prevalent as Facebook. How many universities are preparing for that future? Don't get me wrong, there are professors who are capable of teaching and training students for these jobs. There are professors with those experiences, but they're concentrated in a few universities. What if I'm not lucky enough to choose one of the universities that has one of those professors? That's why I'm excited to tell you about a new course on the economics of digital platforms by Steve Tadellis. Tadellis is a professor at Berkeley and he has experience designing marketplaces at Amazon and eBay. He's offering a two week course on what makes the economics of digital platforms so powerful, how to drive revenue from these platforms and what the future of regulation of these platforms looks like. And my favorite aspect of this course is that it is a live cohort based class, which means you'll have the opportunity to make friends with other people who are preparing for careers in tech economics. When I saw this course, I was so excited that I reached out to the host scholar site and asked if there was any opportunity to get a discount for the market power community. And they said yes. When you register for the course, you can use the code MARKETPOWER10, no spaces, and get 10% off the registration fee. When I last checked, there were only about 20 seats left in this course. So if you are interested in this, you should go check it out immediately. I'll put a link in the description below. But even if the class is full, Go ahead and put your name. There's going to be a wait list and just let them know that I sent you there. Besides the books that I mentioned on this channel, this is really the first thing I have promoted because it is something that I believe in. I am so excited that they are making economics education available from some of the best professors in the world. Now, this is their first course, and I imagine that they're going to offer more. And if you like what they're doing here, please let me know so that way we can work with them again in the future.